Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Yet again, another activist movement falls apart. You know, it's actually crazy how Democrats managed to screw everything up. They managed to squander the incredible cultural power that they hold. Look, I'm no fan of leftists and leftist activism, but one thing you got to admit is they have a stranglehold over culture. They have a whole lot more power and sway than we do. We're the ones here at the bottom scraping by, just trying to exist without getting nuked off of the face of the internet. Meanwhile, these lefties run pretty much every institution of power and culture out there. And even despite that, they managed to screw everything up, whether it's the fall of Black Lives Matter, becoming an absolute disgrace, especially over the last couple of months as we've gotten a keen look into their finances. Well, first Black Lives Matter, and now it seems to be the end of the Me Too era. We've heard all these lefty activists and celebrities say that forever. How dare you say that in the Me Too era? Well, things are different in the Me Too era. Well, that statement just lost a whole lot of credibility as one of the very early figures in the Me Too movement, Mrs. Amber Heard, officially goes down. And of course, the entire structure is probably crumbling with her as leftist activists have once again managed to screw everything up and have totally corrupted and ruined their movement in the first place. Now, I've avoided this whole Johnny Depp, Amber Heard situation basically since it started. I know a lot of content creators have been milking this thing and listening, making tens of thousands of dollars doing that. You know what? Good on them. But I've purposely avoided it because I think there's just some more important things to talk about in politics. But with everything wrapping up, I'm going to do one video just giving you guys my opinion. I'll update you guys on what's going on. And more specifically, I want to focus on the Democrat Democrat hypocrisy on this issue, of course, as the Democrat narrative crumbles. We've got some stuff to get into, but of course, before we get into any of it, make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, share the video as much as possible, and with that out of the way, let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so the backstory really quick, I mean, pretty much everyone knows what's going on, but if you happen to be living in a doomsday bunker under a rock like Patrick Starr from SpongeBob, well, you might not know that a couple years ago, Johnny Depp was accused publicly by his ex-wife and aspiring actress Amber Heard in a 2018 op-ed for the Washington Post. In this op-ed, she accused him of violence and abuse, and in one little move, Amber Heard was able to completely destroy Johnny Depp as a human being, as a man, destroy his reputation, and pretty much end his acting career as we know it. Disney swiftly kicked him off the project that he was working on, of course, Pirates of the Caribbean. And of course, just think about that, Pirates of the Caribbean without Johnny Depp is no Pirates of the Caribbean at all. But in one move, she had the power to completely destroy a man. And why do you think that is. Well, it's because of one very simple concept that the Democrats coined. Hashtag believe all women. Which once again, just like most of these ridiculous Democrat phrases, has actually been co-opted and has turned into something much more epic. Believe all women. That's the dumbest thing I've amber heard. <laughs> And so the left-wing activist narrative falls apart because it's been corrupt since the very start. This is what you get when you hashtag believe all women. And when you have a society that actively becomes anti-man, you destroy people's lives. And sociopathic, self-interested individuals can make up and say whatever they want to slander and defame someone. And now a court has decided that that is exactly what happened. Johnny Depp wins defamation case against Amber Heard. Amber Heard has been ordered to pay Johnny Depp $10.35 in damages for libel after their protracted court case. And that's a real big yikes from leftist hashtag MeTooHero Amber Heard, who according to the internet has a total net worth of $8 million dollars. Now, of course, these numbers are never accurate, but it is certainly funny to see websites like CelebrityNetWorth.com update Amber Heard's new net worth as negative six million dollars. And in general, I don't get joy in people's demise or financial ruin, but in this case, it's justified. You know, someone like Michael Avenatti, seeing him go bankrupt and Stormy Daniels go down with him, and now seeing him sentenced to four years in prison, good. And seeing lying Amber Heard, who attempted to destroy a man's life for clearly her own gain for political and cultural clout to take advantage of a sensitive moment in American culture during the whole Harvey Weinstein ordeal, well, I'd say that's certainly deserved. You know, in our society and in society in general, we're constantly told how lopsided it is and white male privilege, the patriarchy and all this nonsense. But when it really boils down to it, it seems to be yet again just another bogus leftist narrative because if you really think about it, men don't have privilege, men have it pretty rough. Men have the weight of the world on their shoulders. They never get the benefit of the doubt. They never get to play the victim. They're never 
never believed, and in many cases they're ridiculed when they try to claim victimhood. Meanwhile, the female experiences the exact opposite. When men make bad decisions, it's their fault. They were ignorant to make that decision and they deserve what they get. But of course, the exact opposite standard for women. Women are coddled and their actions are justified. It's not your fault and society should pay for your bad decisions. When men are fat and lazy, well, they're just fat and lazy. When women do it, well, you're just a fat phobe. Plus sized women are queens and must be embraced in society for their lifestyle decisions. And that's the beauty of this Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial, is that these leftist narratives and these clear double standards are being exposed and highlighted, and people are waking up to them like never before. You know, I think the next time we have a Brett Kavanaugh situation, I think a lot of people are going to be thinking twice before they join the tweet storm and release a tweet with hashtag believe all women. Yet again, these dishonest, corrupt leftists and their total garbage narratives have been exposed. And it's once again, like I said in the intro, a situation where leftists have totally squandered yet again another opportunity. They own center stage. They have the opportunity to actually do something good, but they've corrupted it with their anti-male hate and their toxic activism, and they've alienated more people than they've won over, and they've done more damage to the cause that they were purportedly fighting for than they've done good. It's the same thing with Black Lives Matter, an organization that purports to care about black life and black communities that has not only fleeced the American public and guilty white liberals out of millions upon millions of dollars, but has also created an environment where more lives are being lost in inner city communities than ever before. And now with the corruption and the destruction, the demise, of hashtag me too and hashtag believe all women instead of creating an environment where women are granted more credibility when going public with these type of claims they've created a scenario where people are probably going to be more predisposed to doubt than they are believe actual credible claims that women will make in the future black lives matter has hurt black people and hashtag me too has hurt women that's just a fact once again these people who call themselves progressives prove to be only one thing and that's regressive Good job, leftoids. You once again screwed everything up. And good on Johnny Depp for fighting to save his name, as we now have a former Disney executive predicting a major comeback for Johnny Depp following Amber Heard trial. You get that defamation lawsuit bag. You get every single dollar, every single million in damages that you are owed. You get your life back, you get your career back, you get your reputation back, at least most of it. I know there's a lot of deluded leftists and feminists who choose to die on the Amber Heard Hill. I mean, go for it. But for the most part, Johnny Depp's image has been restored. And my ending thought is, you get it, King. Honestly, it's very rare that men who are supposedly so privileged, it's very rare that they actually get the justice they deserved and they are owed. And so good for him. And also, how much I love this person person so just put my makeup on and went to the premiere with him and that's what I got for you guys though if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like a comment subscribe I'm gonna get back to work I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one